Over a year ago, I began planning for my trip to Niagara Falls to see the total eclipse. Unfortunately, it was cloudy, so we only got to catch small glimpses of the actual event. However, the experience of totality was so incredible that I wanted to share a short video of this trip with you all. Here's what our visit to Niagara Falls for the eclipse in 2024 was like and let us know if you saw it in the comments. I arrived the day before and was greeted with sun and blue skies. It's a bummer because today is literally the perfect day, not a cloud in the sky, but tomorrow is supposed to be cloudy this time. I explored the falls, went to a few of the viewpoints, and then picked up Amy at the airport, who was flying in to experience the eclipse with me. It was a great flight. No children. <laughs> I feel like I went to the spa today. From there, we checked into our hotel. And this is what a $700 a night hotel looks like during the eclipse. And started our planning for the next day. Since we were staying right next to the falls, we didn't have to fight traffic to drive in and we were able to get up and explore before the event. It was supposed to be the most people Niagara Falls had ever seen, but since the weather forecast was nothing but clouds, I think that scared a lot of people away and there were fewer people than I anticipated. We headed to the NASA event at the visitor center. I got a goodie bag. And then walked the old falls street where they had closed it down and had shops and street performers. By then it was time to start setting up for the eclipse and we decided to walk over the rainbow bridge into Canada. With the forecast showing clouds, I figured that the best view would be to see totality looking at something like the American Falls and that ended up being the right call. We hung out for about an hour before the eclipse started and unfortunately when it began the clouds were blocking the view. Every so often though the clouds would clear and we would see small glimpses of the moon making its way across the sun. It's 12 minutes to totality, and uh, it is very cold here. It's getting darker. When the moon fully blocked the sun for totality, the clouds didn't break at all, but the experience was something else. With a sunset, total darkness, and a sunrise, all within a three minute time frame. During that time, everyone was filming, people were cheering, and it was truly unforgettable for anyone who was there. completely dark in the middle of the day. Never seen anything like this before. <laughs> I know you might not think that a total eclipse is something you need to see, but I can tell you that if you're anywhere near one, you should go out of your way to see it. Right as the light was coming back, the clouds cleared and we were greeted with about a minute of the moon making its way off the sun and could see the sliver it produced. Outside of the darkness, this was probably my favorite moment of the eclipse. We didn't get to see that little part that you want to see in totality, but the experience is unlike anything I've ever had before. That was, that was incredible. It was amazing. So cool to be in darkness like that. Awesome. Yeah, and then to have it come back, I don't know, it's just something you can't understand until you actually experience it. So I guess we'll have to go to Spain in like three years and see it again. <laughs> Most people we talked to seemed pleasantly surprised that we at least got to see some views of the eclipse. And Amy and I were stoked about how unique it was as we walked back across the bridge into the United States. The city had some fun events after the eclipse, so we grabbed food at the food trucks and walked down to the falls to see the sunset. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of a bummer. Look at this. It's like a perfect sunset now after being cloudy all day. We spent a good 30 minutes just soaking in the amazing sunset that greeted us. It's so beautiful, it almost makes me forget the cloudy eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> we were still a little bitter about how good the weather was now, so we had to drown our sorrows in some ice cream. Amy's got to get her social shots of the ice cream. <laughs> oh, you took some of my sprinkles. Oh, you'll be okay. <laughs> the last event of the night was fireworks right in downtown Niagara Falls, capping off a pretty memorable day. We're back in the room after a truly unforgettable day in Niagara Falls. Amy summed it up pretty perfectly. What did you say? <laughs> it wasn't the eclipse we were hoping for, but it was way better than we expected based on the weather forecast. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> thanks, thanks again for watching this with us and we'll see you on the next one.